guys, it's Caitlin. Today we are making game day snacks. If you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and stay tuned to the end to see how to make these cute little yard line flags. So first, we're gonna start off with something easy and delicious that everyone loves, especially the guys. We're gonna make our potato skins. We're gonna start out with some small russet potatoes. If you're using larger ones, I'm gonna talk about cooking time. It's gonna change just a little. I love to use the smaller ones because it makes really nice bite-sized pieces. We're gonna start by washing our russet potatoes. You wanna wash them really nice. And then we're going to grab a fork and we're going to start poking holes in the potatoes. Now we are going to transfer our potatoes onto a baking sheet. Now we're going to drizzle some avocado oil or another high heat cooking oil over our potatoes. And you can just use your hand and roll them around a little bit to get them nice and evenly coated on all sides. Now we're going to place them in the oven at 400 degrees for around an hour to an hour and a half depending on the size of your potatoes. Once they are out of the oven and cool to the touch, we're going to cut them in half. Using a spoon, we're going to scoop out about half of the potato, leaving roughly a quarter inch of potato on the skin. Now we're going to turn the oven up to 450 degrees Fahrenheit and we're going to oil the potato skins and season them with salt and pepper. Place on a baking sheet and cook for 20 minutes or until golden and crispy. While those are cooking, we're going to chop some fresh bacon. Once the potatoes are done, we're going to sprinkle them with cheese and bacon and return them to the oven for around five minutes or until the cheese is melted. Enjoy. For our next appetizer, we're gonna be making chocolate covered pretzels. We're going to need some pretzels, some chocolate chips or some chocolate candy melts and some white chocolate chips or white candy melts. If you're gluten free or dairy free like me, you can enjoy this snack too. Check out the links in the description for some tasty alternatives. We're going to start by melting the chocolate and dipping our pretzels in one by one into the melted chocolate, then laying them onto parchment paper. Try to cover as much of the pretzel with chocolate as possible and repeat until you've dipped all of your pretzels, then let the chocolate dry. Let's melt the white chocolate and prepare a piping bag or a plastic Ziploc bag. Once you've transferred the chocolate into your piping bag, begin drawing a vertical line down each of the pretzels. Then draw on the horizontal laces. If you squeeze at the beginning and the end of each lace, it will make your line look nice and clean. And there you go, tasty chocolate dipped football pretzels ready for the big game. For this next snack, we're taking a little spin on a classic. I'm gonna show you guys how to make this football cheese plate. This is so easy and you probably already have everything you need. You're just going to layer your favorite crackers in an oval shape, then following that same line, layer the inside with your favorite cheeses. You can even use your favorite fruit, nuts, or pretzels. And last but not least, popcorn is a must, so I'm gonna show you how to make these popcorn football bags. We're going to need some brown paper bags. The smaller you can find them, the better. If they come with handles, you can snip them off like I'm doing here. And using white, non-toxic paint, we're going to draw a vertical line down the center of each paper bag. Then, using shorter strokes, add a few horizontal lines across your vertical line to create the laces. Now make sure you give these enough time to dry and then add in your popcorn. To make these cute little yard line flags, we're going to need some green construction paper. And we're going to fold it in half the long way or hot dog style and begin cutting triangles along the fold, pointing outward like I'm doing here. Next, we're going to use a glue stick and glue the inside of the flag. Insert a toothpick into the fold of the flag and press the paper together. Now that we have our flag, we need to add the lines. Using a white gel pen and a straight edge, draw a vertical line down the green paper on both sides. Using a white gel pen and a straight edge, draw vertical lines down the green paper on both sides. Then write in your numbers as I'm doing here. 
This is a really fun craft and activity for your kids to make on game day while you're cooking up all the food. And there you go. I hope you guys enjoyed these game day snack ideas. If you did, hit that like button and let me know in the comments which one was your favorite. Check out more videos over here and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I love you and I will see you next time.